The State Department says it does not know of any Americans killed in the terror attacks, but at least two Americans are considered missing. Justin and Stephanie Schultz were at Brussels airport at the time of the bombings. Their family is flying to Belgium to look for them. Vladimir Dutier of our digital network CBSN is at a memorial site for the attacks victims. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Belgians continue to congregate behind me here at Place de la Bourse. Some come to mourn, others to show solidarity with the victims killed and injured. But for some families, it's been an agonizing 48 hours since they heard from their loved ones. Justin's been wanting me to come to Brussels and see him, but this is not the way that I wanted to go see him. <laughs> Sheila Schell is headed to Belgium to track down her son, Justin Schultz. She says the Tennessee native and his wife, Stephanie, who is from Kentucky, were inside the airport during the attack. One minute they were there and then they weren't. And we've been searching and looking for them ever since. Shell says the State Department called her Wednesday, saying the couple was on a list of people provided by the Belgian government, but their status was unclear. It was very frustrating trying to get somebody and finally I called Senator Bob Corker's office and uh, Voila, the you know, thing started happening. Senator Corker's office reached out to Belgian officials, but no one could confirm the couple had been found. Sasha and Alex Pinzowski, who lived in New York, are also among the missing. Karen Northshield works as a personal trainer in Brussels and was reportedly on her way to the U.S. to visit family. She is in intensive care, but expected to live. Three Mormon missionaries from Utah survived the terror strike. Among them, 19-year-old Mason Wells, who was treated for burns and shrapnel injuries. His parents are traveling to Brussels to see him. The first step is him, Mason's care. Is he okay? What's his well-being? What's his medical care? And then how do we get him home? We know Mason will want to get back to regular life and not want to sit and dwell on this. What are you most thankful for? I'm most thankful for my family. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Jeff Slaughter was on his way home to Louisiana when the bombs went off. The ceiling tiles began raining down all over and so all I could think at that point was just get out. He ran out of the airport to a triage area, but was unhurt. I think everyone was in shock. In shock. Yeah, I think so. NBA Hall of Famer Dikembe Mutombo was inside the airport too, a few hundred feet from the first blast. He arrived back in Atlanta yesterday. I want to go ahead and kiss my wife in a kiss and give them a big hug. 150 remain in hospitals across the city, at least 61 in intensive care. Many have severe burns and shrapnel in their bodies, similar to what we saw after the Boston bombings, Nora. Just terrible. Vladimir Dutier in Brussels, thank you so much.